Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday at the European Open, hour before the European Open, 25th March. Choppy week last week. Stocks down Wednesday, stocks up Thursday, stocks down Friday, but the Friday move was very serious, as you can see. Nazi uh, bearish engulfed. S&Ps almost did. Um, gold's up at 1316. Um, crude is uh, on the 58 handle, 5860. 58 bucks is still important in crude. But let's focus on this S&Ps because this is uh, this is going to be our main main driver for for us here today on the tactical book. We're short, of course, short on the medium term book. But today we're just selling high ones um, between uh, 97 and 07. Um, we're short. Uh, we'll be trading this, sort of trying to buy low 80s and then rinse and repeat on the tactical side, um, just to sort of create cash flow to help uh, pay for the medium term side. So just selling S&Ps is pretty straightforward. Uh, Boons are still negative, um, although they've come back a little bit. Minus two basis points. Uh, the low, I think, was minus four. Um, U.S. rates still in the shitter. Ten years at 243. Crazy. And the 30-year at 288. This 30 years actually a fade, but we're not going to fade this yet. I think we're going to try and put this on um, somewhere between 270 and 250. Uh, but that's not for today. Right now, we're not going to try and fade this risk move. We're trying to get on board and surf it. Um, we think it has more to go. In the currency space, Euro has done very little overnight, 88.04. This is a sell. 36 is your, um, are these lows here. So you're going to see resistance at 36. It's the 200 hour line there. Not that we care too much about the 200-hour line, but uh, we're selling rallies in Euro, in Euro dollar as we are in Euro yen. Uh, we got up to 43. We just hit 30s here about 10 minutes ago. Here we are at 21. Um, this is going to go lower. I think this is going to go a lot lower um, once we get through 123.38. Um, those numbers out of Germany, just astoundingly bad. Um, although the service numbers weren't as bad, but still, uh, that was that was a shocker, and the market smashed it and chased it for 200 points. Urien, we think this has more to go. We've got German IFO today. Uh, forecast is for 98.7. If this comes in at 96 or 95 or some shocking low one, um, they will smoke Euro Yen again. So keep an eye on Euro Yen, core short Euro Yen. We like this trade as well. Euro Dollar as well. Um, even though we're in the middle of the range here, Euro Dollar, we're, we're not even close to taking a look at this 111.80 yet. Today it seems pretty pretty standard. Do you want to sell up against that one 113.36 uh, area? Dollar czar, uh, we're not in this. Uh, we'll be chasing it, but this is going to make new highs today through 14.58. You saw what happened in dollar turkey, 5-6%. Um, these positions are still stubbornly long emerging markets. The two big U.S. investment banks have told all their clients to buy emerging markets this year because of the weakening dollar. But what they didn't really calculate is, number one, uh, both or most all of the emerging markets uh, are lacking in leadership right now. Uh, and number two, uh, the economies are, are, are fucked. Uh, I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty, but 
now with a real global slowdown on the frontal lobe these guys are going to get kicked we expect dollar rand to test these highs 1550 soon um, there will be some there will definitely be stops above 1470 and likely there'll be stops from sort of fund and momentum type guys th through 1460 um, we feel like we're late to this everyone here who listens to privateer knows we love to be short rand uh, but we're not on this we're not going to chase it um, we're trading the euro side of this and the uh, s p side of this so but uh, emerging markets look like they're going to get smoked. One big focus this week will be um, Aussie through 70 cents. We feel like this is going to happen. Core short Aussie. It's all one big trade here. Uh, just this big risk off trade. Rates uh, in Australia are smoked as in as our rates everywhere. Uh, Aussie is going to have a hard time going higher. Just um, just because of this big global growth story. The one thing we have to keep in mind and to keep our powder dry and be careful with on the tactical book is um, positive Brexit news and positive trade news. I think this wave of negativity is too strong now, so either of those two um, will have a positive blip uh, on risk, but I don't think it's going to be able to turn the tide. I don't know what's going to be able to turn the tide here. Um, this looks very serious, but keep your eye on headlines and keep your powder dry for the blip, um, either second referendum vote, because we're getting a lot of, a lot of signatures on that, uh, on that signature page. I think it's up to 6 million now. Um, so there could be a second referendum vote. I have no idea what's happening Brexit. I'm just throwing this, this sort of spitball and ideas out here. Um, and then, of course, we're going to get some positive trade headlines from Trump and his uh, his gang of gargoyles. Um, I think we just bought some gold there. Um, so these positive... Um, positive headlines out of Trump are inevitable. So... You don't want to be stopping out on those headlines because that's just a, a blip in the risk and just something to keep in mind. I'm babbling a bit here. Um, so anyway, cut it short and sweet. Uh, short S&Ps, uh, short Euro-Yen. You can be short Aussie, I think, for especially for later on in the week because as we, as we approach uh, 70 cents, there's going to be like a car crash of... of of business to do there um, you could be long gold uh, and you could be long dollar against emerging markets these are all kind of the same trade um, we're focusing on euro yen and S&P's we will be watching crude very very closely uh, it just gives us more conviction if we get crude below 58 bucks alright I've said enough people uh, let's get to work and make some money Talk to you guys later.